to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well today. Oh my god, it feels so weird to be saying that. <sighs> Guys, I know how I've been gone for a little while. So today I have a pretty little thing plus size dress haul for you guys. Haven't been on the Pretty Little Thing website for a long while. Haven't ordered any clothes really for a little while. Um, so I just wanted to see what they're working with. They've got a few, few new items um, floating around on the website. So I just wanted to try on a few outfits for you guys um, today. Um, I do acknowledge that at the moment everything is a bit up in the air, but these videos are just for your pure entertainment. If you do want to buy um, any of the outfits that I show you today, then the links and the sizes and everything would be down in the description box as usual. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, so you always be notified every time I upload videos, and let's get into the haul, guys. Okay, guys, so the first dress I have for you today is this cut-out sort of off the shoulder. There's a lot going on with this dress. So obviously most of the dresses that I've ordered today, I think are in a size 18. I think there might be one that is in a size 16, which I was very hopeful for. But um, let's just see, like I said, if you'll be in the description box. But this dress is meant to be quite cut out hair. Sorry, I am wearing a black bra with it. Um, but I've just sort of tucked in the straps and stuff. Um, but it's meant to sort of be down here, this cut out feature um but obviously my waist is probably one to two sizes smaller than my dress size so i do have a lot of baggy excess material here and it does keep slipping up here i mean if i wanted to i could potentially just wear it like this and just have it up but the whole point of this dress is this cut out feature as well so let me just talk a bit more about the specs of this dress I have this ruching around the top hem of the dress and also around like the sort of the bra bit area you also get ruching down the center all the way down the center of the dress and it has these nice sort of strings that you can tie to probably make into a, a nice pretty bow guys excuse my nails i've been meaning to do them but i just haven't had the time um yeah so you can obviously tie that in probably need to bow than that um so you've got one of those ties there at the top of the dress and you've also got one down the bottom i hope the whole dress is showing up on camera i am sort of experimenting on where i'm filming in my apartment just because I have a lot of greenery that is surrounding my apartment so it is very difficult because it's taken a lot of my sunlight so I've had to use my ring light as well as some natural lighting so bear with me um, I'm just trying to figure it out as I said before um, a lot of ruching ruching down the side here ruching down the side of this dress and also obviously down the other side um the length is good it does cut lower at the back than it is at the front so it definitely does cut lower which is a nice feature if you do have like wider hips and a bigger bottom because it gives you that little bit extra material that the dress is not going to come up too short the arms are sort of puffy and they have this sort of elastic that sort of goes here that is relatively tight i will be honest with you guys um, but obviously it does stretch because it is elastic um, but one might find that a little bit uncomfortable because it is slightly tight you could potentially cut that elastic and sort of um, sew it back together so you've got a little bit more extra room there but it is slightly tight and I don't know I'm a little bit disappointed just because this feature doesn't look as nice as it did on the model just because it's not the right size for me but i don't have any more room maybe like half an inch on my hips but there's no way i will be able to get um, a size 16 for this dress this dress has no stretch guys no stretch at all so you definitely need your size and if you have wider hips or bigger bottom than me you definitely want to size up in this dress um yeah this is how we are looking at the back so sorry you do, can't see my little black bra sticking out there um, obviously you'd wear sort of a, a 
recommend but like you would wear and maybe not wear a bra at all or you know wear a bra that sort of matches this a nude colored one so this dress is sort of a i don't know if they call it a mauve but like a blushed pink nude color it does have a sheen to it it almost looks like it could be satin but it's not satin obviously but it is like a blushed pink with a shimmer to it very pretty color um i do like it but i just don't think it flatters my stomach area because it doesn't fit very well but if you don't want your stomach to be um sort of restricted and tight then i would def definitely recommend this because you do have that extra room there very pretty dress guys so this is the first piece This dress is obviously also in a size 18. This white polka dot on a black background. This dress does have two layers. It has a thin sort of mesh layer and then obviously it has a sort of thick material underneath. But at the bottom, you just get one layer of this sort of frilly hem mesh same polka dot design at the bottom and you also get these jawstrings that you can actually use to make the dress more ruched down the side so you can actually make that bit a little bit shorter or you can pull it down and then the dress is almost sort of the same the same length all the way around um, I like this dress I think it fits very well although it is quite short um, at the back, I have probably put on a few pounds since the last guy, since the last time you guys have seen me. Um, so this dress is coming up a little bit short, and it is obviously a size 18. I do like this dress, and I think I will keep it just because it does fit. Maybe I'll just wear like a pair of shorts underneath or something, like obviously ones that you can't see. Um, I like the fact that also it just makes me feel quite confident in the sense that you know it doesn't sh like emphasize any of the lumps or bumps that I have. You do get just obviously sort of these spaghetti straps. I do still have my black bra on. The straps are not adjustable. I wouldn't say the straps fit very tight but um, I would say that if you're any bigger than what I am on the cup size then you need to size up in this dress. Um, yeah, I do like this dress guys. This is how we are looking at the back. Um, very cute. My idea with this dress was that I would wear it during the day, you know, maybe to the park or, you know, just out and about maybe a lunch date or something. So I do have a mirror to the left of me hair, for you guys is right, but I do have the mirror to the left of me hair. So I might be, you might see me glance off there a few times. Um, yeah, so the idea was for this dress to be a day dress. I think it is more of a day dress. Um, yeah, so I think it's, it's pretty cool. I thought the idea was this to be sort of a sort of a cow neck. So it's most supposed to be a little bit baggy um, up here, but it's not, I don't think it's a lot of material for it to be like that. The dress is not very cool if it is a really scorching hot day. So just bear that in mind that you would want to wear this on more of a, a cooler summer's day um, as opposed to maybe a hot summer's day. But apart from that, I think I really like this dress guys. ordered the same dress but on a different print so the specs are exactly the same as the dress that I just showed you before this one the polka dot one so you know the double layer the difference is that it has this are we focused this lovely white background with these beautiful butterflies 
I like this dress. I like the concept on it, of it, but I don't think the colours suit me. Um, I think the dress looks a little bit cheap on me, if that makes sense. I don't think the colours really complement me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should I keep this dress? I don't know. This is how we are looking at the back. Excuse the black bra. Um, just imagine it with a white bra or something. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this dress. Should I keep it? Yes or no? <laughs> It's this sort of nude blushed pink colour. We have ruching all the way down the centre of the dress. It is a mini dress and I'm five foot seven and it comes just above my knees. We have the strings again at the bottom so you can um, pull them tighter or loosen them to have less ruching. Um, I'm not sure about the colour on me. <laughs> Um, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We have mesh arms and we also have two layers on the dress. So we have this first sort of same mesh layer plus a sort of same sort of bodycon jersey stretchy type material underneath. Obviously you guys know the mesh is not going to stretch but the, um, I would say actually the the mesh does have some bounce back, but it's not stretchy. Um, I did think there was gonna be a lot of material, excess material on the front when I initially took the dress out of the pack, but um, it does fit quite well. This is how we are looking at the back, excuse the tag sticking out. And this is the other problem that I felt like I had with this dress was the fact that it kept on sagging a bit on the back. I have a bit of extra room at the back, um, extra material. Like I said, my waist and my tummy area are maybe like one to two sizes smaller than my actual dress size. So I do sometimes find that problem. I do, I do like the dress guys. I love the off the shoulder sort of style, um, but just not sure about the color. I don't know if it's a little bit too pale for me. Um, I do like a bit more of a warm toned dress just because I think it complements my skin tone a bit more um, but yeah guys this is an dress Dress. So it is just a bandeau style dress. Obviously a bodycon, you guys know I love my bodycon dresses. So it is just a plain bodycon black bandeau dress guys. There's nothing I really fancy about it, but I will say that it does have this sort of triangle dip down in the middle at the front. So as opposed to just going straight round, as in like straight across it sort of dips down into a triangle. At the back, it is just plain and simple, straight across, um, but we do have that dip down in the middle at the front. Love this dress, guys. Got it in a size 18 again. Slightly too big for me at the top here, just because I am not very top heavy, but it is, um, it does fit well enough for me to be able to keep it, which I will be. <laughs> so the length is quite short. Um, 
but I could potentially just wear this indoors as in like a little like sexy number as we some of us are still quarantined I don't think you will be seeing me out partying this year um so I might have to have a few uh, get togethers at my house so I think this is a nice number that you could definitely wear indoors. So it looks like you've kind of dressed up, but you're um, wearing something really simple. I do like it, guys. So I think this dress also was very, very affordable. Um, maybe under £10, don't quote me, but I do think it was very affordable. And I think it is classic to Pretty Little Thing with their affordable dresses. Let me know if you would like to see a affordable dress haul from Pretty Little Thing because I would love to do that. I think they have dresses that are just like a whole um, collection just for dresses that are under five pounds or that are five pounds. So let me know if you would like to see that. Um, but this is the last piece, guys. the video let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite dress um should i keep those two dresses that i was kind of indecisive about let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time i upload videos and i will see you soon guys